All right, this is. <laughs> hope you can hear me fine. This is the uh, stats term one week four. So easy, and a lot of it is like from different. Uh, so basically, it's all about cumulative frequency. I think it's, this, it's the same question repeated six times, but different fr phrasing. And this is usually how they come in the exam. She always like just changes the quiz a bit. Basically, you're gonna get the frequency table and you're gonna get intervals. Okay. The whole point, the whole idea is that this table can be redrawn into a graph that looks something like this. All right. You label from. Uh, 10 you start at 10 or no, it's actually let's not start there. Let's start here from 10 uh, to 15 What's important is they're all equal widths. You see they're all equal widths. No, except this one 20 to 30 is longer Right because these are all widths of 5. This is a width of 10. This is a width of 15 So be careful, you know if you're graphing 10 to 15 then 15 to 20 Then uh, 20 to 30 if you're gonna take I was taking three squares initially So now I'm gonna take uh, six uh, squares. So I'll add uh, 20 on 30 on but in 30 to 45, I'm going to take not 6 squares, I'm going to take 9 squares, 56, 9, 45, and that's 50 here. Type, how does it look? Basically, the whole idea is that you can have like a a bar graph like this. We call this a histogram. Okay, so it's going to look something like this. Obviously, uh, 15 to 20 has more people, so that's why it's like it's a longer graph. Okay, and then uh, 20 to 30 has 15, so it's going to look like this. Right and whatever, whatever, whatever. All right. So the idea is, how do you find out how big this um, graph is? All you have to do is find something called the frequency density. The frequency density is equal to the frequency divided by uh, the class width. All right. So in this case, it's going to be four divided by five for the first one, which is zero point eight. So if you have an axis like one, this would be zero point. This is two, four, six, but like zero point eight. For that's. Um, you could say it's obviously not here. It's, uh, you could say it's like around here, but it would be this height. All right. Then the frequency density here would be six divided by five. Why five? Because fifteen minus twenty minus fifteen is five. So the class width is five. Uh, so you get one point two. So over here it would be something like this. All right. Then from twenty to thirty, you divide fifteen by the width. Now is ten. So you get one point five. So the height of this would be one point five. So a bit higher. But then from 30 to 45, 27 divided by 15, which is true. That even two, if you go a bit higher, like obviously if you have a calculator, you do it. From 45 to 50, you do eight divided by five, which is 1.6 for you, like down here. This is how it looks. This is a histogram. All right. Anyway, so let's do it. Um, this step here, we just did it now to find the frequency density. You divide the frequency by the class width. Okay. Anyways. Um, which is true about the histogram, whatever. Let's take a look. The histogram is made up of five bars with different values. How many bars do I have? Take, look at how many classes you have. Four or five classes. Type. The highest bar represents the interval. Now. How do you check the highest bar? The highest bar is the one with the longest frequency density. Which one is the longest frequency density or the largest frequency density? It's this one here, right? Because it has 1.8. So if you can answer part A, then you can do anything else, okay? Let's take a look. Now, um, the highest bar is this one. No, we agreed that it's this one here, 30 to 45. The shortest bar is this one. Come in, we don't need it. The time distribution is slightly skewed to the left. So when we say the time distribution is slightly skewed to the left, it doesn't necessarily mean something, but the keyword here is skewed to the left. It could be time, it could be, I don't know, length or whatever. In this case, we're talking about time, and that's why they said time. What does this mean? It basically means in your histogram, uh, where do you have more patients, on the left or the right? If you take a look here, uh, over here, you have... Honestly, I tried asking GPT. This is GPT's explanation. You can pause and read if you want. Uh, but I think it's because there's it's an even distribution in the middle. And then if you look at the frequency densities, uh, over here it's a bit smaller. So the tail kind of looks like this kind of looks like a tail. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. Uh, if anyone knows exactly why, please put in the comments. Uh, if I <coughs> find out, I'll post in the group. Anyways, part C. The model class is what? What's the model class? Basically, the one with the what highest frequency. Which one has the highest frequency? 27. So which class is it? 30 to 45. Nice and easy. Type D. The total area of the histogram is what? To find the total area of any histogram, you do, um, you do for method. If they want from 10 to 15, what's the total area? It's going to be the frequency of that area, which is 4. How do you find it? 0 0.8 times 5. <coughs> now, if they want the total area, the area is always just the frequency at that class. If they want the total area, that means they want the total frequency. In other words, we call it the cumulative frequency. Now, what's the cumulative frequency? Hey, just add them up. 4 plus 6, 10. 10 plus 15, 25. 25 plus 27 is what? Uh, 52. 52 plus 8 is 60. So you get 60 units. 
the total area of the histogram, come on, they just said it, it displays what? The total number of patients surveyed at the clinic, right? Oh. Question two, the histogram below shows the weight distribution, whatever. So here they drew for you the histogram already. The maximum value in the range of the fish distribution is what? Now the maximum value they're saying is 800. Now I, I strongly disagree, I think it's 1200. Uh, I think the question is wrong. So I, I won't make any promises. If uh, if it's 800, please tell me why. I even asked GPT and it told me it's 1200. So I'm just making sure. Uh, but it should be 1200. This is the maximum value here. Uh, that makes no sense. Um, the model class is what? Obviously, model class, you take a look at the one with the with the largest height. Why largest height? Because they all have even widths. So you're going to take a look at the one with the largest height. And this one here. Uh, which is what class? 700 to 800. The frequency of the five classes displayed, how do you find frequency? I told you, to find the frequency, it's like finding the area. So it's like fi multiplying the, the length by the width. So for the first one, 0 0.3 times 100, which is what? 30. And then here it's what? 0 0.4 times 100, so it's f from left to right. Key Ah, because this, this class here is not, uh, you are, you see this class is a bigger rectangle. You see it's a bigger rectangle. Okay, from 500 to 700, 0 0.4 times 200 is going to be 80, and so on and so forth. Else, you guys know how to do it, okay? I'm not going to do each class one by one. Uh, question three. Middle school students the, 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 the middle school students decorated candles for charity, whatever. The table shows the same thing. Guys, it's the same thing, okay? I'm going to go so fast. What's the height of the tallest column uh, in the header? How tall is the column? The column is the frequency density. Sah? So how do you find the frequency density? You need to... Uh, you need to divide 17 by 10 gets you what 1.7 22 by 9 that's 9 right 22 by 9 uh, you're gonna get yeah you, would you take it like that no 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 the width would be 10 you do 20 20 no yeah okay, but the width 11 to 20 but it would be 9 for 22 minus 10. in the previous questions wait Bala bala. See, it's because it's inclusive. Fa here, the width is 5. When they do it like this, dash, then the width, you, it's not 9, it's 10, okay? It's 10. 20 minus 11 is 9, then you do plus 1. Okay, so it's 10. 22 divided by 10 is 2.2. 2. 25 divided by 5 is what? 5. 30 divided, uh, 50 divided by 5 is 10. 36 divided by 20 is uh, 1.8. Or 60 divided by 30 is 2. Type. The height of the tallest column is what? Aki, it's going to be 10. If the interval A, B represents the model class, well, how do you check the model class? You look at the class with the highest frequency. Which one is that? 26 to 30. The A will be 26, B will be 30. Hydel 25.5 will 30.5 and Sulia. Yeah, it's 26 with 30. Yes, okay. Uh, the total number of students involved, how do you check it? You add up all the frequencies. I'm not going to waste my time. Okay, nice and easy. Add up all up 17, 22, 25, 50, 36, 60. Add them, you get 210. The total number of students is represented by what? I told you always to find the total frequency, you find the total area under the bars. Uh, four. Uh, the table below shows the blood pressure, whatever, in millimeters. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How many patients? 100. For the total frequency, 100. Type they gave me from 90 to 110, 111 to 120, so on and so forth. The height of the tallest bar is what? How do you find the height? You find frequency density. For 12 divided by height issue 20 is going to be 0. Uh, 12 divided by 26, 0. 0.6, I think. Okay, this one here, 18 divided by 10, 1.8. Height 24 divided by 2, 30. 24 divided by 30 will be 0 0.8. Uh, 38 divided by 20 will be 1.9. 8 divided by 10 is 0 0.8. Which one's the tallest? 1.9, nice and easy. Interval model class. Which one's model class? Again, look at the one with the highest frequency. It's this one because it's 38. Let me erase, maybe you can't see it. Okay, it's the one with 38. So what do you take? 151 to 170. Meshi, 151 to 170. Considering that 70 patients had systolic blood pressure above K, what's the best header? How do you check? 8 plus 30. You look, this is what you do. You go, its total is 100, right? 100, subtract 70. Okay? Uh, as they, uh, sorry, so they want 70 patients, yeah? If you go, you know that the readings are above a certain value. So that means, kid, you have to go 70, 70 readings from the right. Where will you end? You'll end somewhere here. 8 plus 38 is uh, 44, 44 plus 24 is 68, okay? Yani Akid, if it's 70, they're going to be above where? 120. So easy. <coughs> so easy. You just count 70 students from the right. Meshe, okay, 70. Someone's going to tell you top of 70. Aren't you going to end up here? Yes, okay, khayi, but it's going to be above what? 120, Akid. Uh, 
The table below illustrates the age distribution of 160 visitors at a local museum, whatever. The height of the tallest bar, again, frequency density is what? 14 divided by 10, 1.4. 48 divided by 5 is uh, 50 divided by 10, 10, 9.8. Uh, no, 9.6. 9.6. Uh, 56 divided by 5 is 11.2. Uh, 24 divided by 20 is... Uh, 12, 1.2. 18 divided by 20 is 0 0.9. Type which one's the highest? I keep eleven point two. If the interval this represents the model class, la 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 la. Fala two number model class. It's the same question again and again and again. Which one has the highest frequency? That's how you check model class. Fifty six for twenty six to thirty. Okay, it's so easy, so nice, so calm, so chill, so lovely. Yani, and everybody should be getting hundreds tomorrow. Okay, uh, what is the height of the shortest column? Again. They want the shortest, hella, not tallest. You find frequency density. 46 out of 10 is 4.6. 58 divided by 5 is uh, 11.6. 72 divided by 15. Yeah, that's not something I can do in my head. Hold up. Uh, I'll do this on calculator. 72 divided by 15. 4.8. Okay, 4.8. Type uh, second one. Uh, 16 divided by 10 is what? Uh, 1.6. Uh, 8 divided by 10 is 0 0.8. Type I one is the shortest. Okay, it's going to be 0 0.8. Right? Ooh, the range of the reported one is what? Ah, <laughs> man. How do you find range? Maximum, minus, minimum. 60 minus 10, 50. Good luck tomorrow in your exam. Thank you so much for watching.